welcome back to Margaritas in Paradise. We're down on Wagamot Beach today, and it's been a long time since I've been down here. Now, we do have a super low tide, but we're gonna walk along the beach and kind of check out things what's happening down here. Uh, it is a Saturday, and uh, so I expect there to be quite a few people down here, but we'll check it out and see what's going on. And uh, now I came down off of soy. Uh, 18 sit bat and uh, I'm walking down along the, the shoreline here in the fisherman's village anyway they have lots of vendors along here take care of everything from sand mats to uh, food and snacks but they also have restaurants over there on the beach as well He's a trout. The trout? I don't know. Oh, that's food. Jellyfish, mussels, and shrimp, and squid, and salmon. Oh. The size of this. A squid. A squid. Yeah, the size of that squid. There's another big one, and they're smaller ones. Oh, this one's dark colored. I wonder why. Hmm. All right. Of course, for the uh, metal detecting guys, this would probably be a pretty good tide to be out here. Now this is the fisherman's village area here and uh, where all the boats are moored and uh, in the evenings they'll be out fishing right here in the, in the immediate bay. And normally from my condo you can see uh, lots of green lights and, um, and that's all squid fishermen. So let's keep going. interesting points when you're coming out to the beach in Thailand is that uh, normally if we were on in Southern California or Florida or places like that and everybody goes to the beach they're all sitting out in the Sun and here uh, here many people like to sit in the shade there's the uh, what's that Wyndham Grand yeah, residence boy you're right on the beach there Okay. <laughs> oh, everybody, it is it is dotted as you can see in here. We're gonna zoom in a little bit, but we're gonna go down the beach. Well, there's quite a few people just walking in the trees. All right, let's go down to the water. All right, so you see the big building there, that's the arm. <laughs> if you're looking um, immediately to the left of the arm is a smaller building off kind of, I don't know, about a third of the way down. That's my building. 
And then uh, right next, the big white building in front of it there, there's uh, Park Beach. And uh, you look a little bit further down, there's Wagamut Towers, Silver Beach, and the Palm. But uh, oh, a great location to live. But we're right here on the beach. And this is considered uh, Sunset Beach right along here. So and it is the perfect place to come down and, and watch the sunset. Now, people ask all the time about uh, which beaches are better. Now, it's hard to tell you the truth about which beaches are better uh, with low tide. But you see how you have these outcropping of rocks that kind of protect areas along the beach here. Now, if you get down to Jump Tien, it's a long stretch. Um, there is one area uh, just north of Dong Tan Beach that has some rocks, but there's not a lot. And uh, other than that, the, the beach is one long stretch that goes for, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 kilometers or more. And uh, with that, you can kind of follow the, the tide lines, like the high tide line. And uh, you can see all the trash that's washed in. And because, because the beach isn't protected by the rocks in general, uh, the water tends to be more murky and cloudy uh, versus the water here that's protected. So during big storms and that, you do get murky water all, all over Thailand. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and it's monsoon season right now. So you have to expect a certain amount of murky water. But some of these pictures that I, I take every morning are, are absolutely beautiful. Blue skies and just really nice. So it's something that you definitely want to check out. And when you're in this area, you come to Wagamot Beach, it's fantastic. And Patia Beach is good too. Uh, it doesn't have as many of these protected coves as, as North Patia, Nakula, Wagamot Beach area, but uh, it's still pretty good. And then you get into Jom Tien. You know, Dong Tom Beach is fantastic. I like the area. I like all the trees and things like that. But it's nowhere near as good as this beach. And I'm telling you, um, this is just a hidden secret. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to get to than, let's say, Jom Tien Beach. But this is a hidden secret. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, you can check it out for yourself next time you come down here. All right, let's keep going. Lots of people come out here to take pictures all the time. But they're taking pictures in the, uh, in the shade. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I'll tell you. Whatever they're building here, they got a road coming in. It's going to be spectacular. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this is like, I would think, just a great place to be. And, and of course, once they get whatever's going in there, whether it's a hotel or a, a residence, this whole beach area is going to be phenomenal. It has to be because you look at this place, even though it's full of rocks, uh, yeah, it just has to be great. So we'll go out here, take a better look. Uh, there, you can see a patio sign in the distance. And you pan to the right here, and you can see Colarn. Good, huh? But a lot of this trash is really small trash that's just kind of left uh, from the, the high tide. The high tide brings it up and it, yeah. So let's see here. We're getting too close. I don't know why. <laughs> Look at all these exposed rocks. Now, normally during a normal tide, I think right now I'll put a I'll try to put a picture of what the tide level is today, uh, just to give you an idea. So let's. Mm. 
nangkat ya guys kita lekat ya I just look at your colors I like the color too much for hair for, for baby <laughs> yeah that's cool though I like the color you know I think just looking at it why ma too big too big all right cup good cup I just came off the sun uh, set beach area and uh, and I'm looking around at the rest of Wagamont Beach out here and I'll turn it around for you in a minute but I'm just not seeing a bunch of people out there right now I looked at my watch it is 98 degrees feels like 102 uh, so it's pretty warm out and uh, and we're in direct Sun so maybe we'll try to come back out here a little bit later and see what is going on so we're gonna check it out later on we're gonna head back to the motorbike I'll turn this around give you a little last peek of how it is right now do a little zooming I'm looking down to the north and you know there are a few people out walking in that but it's not very many and we'll try to zoom this in a little bit but uh yeah So I keep seeing a bunch of people coming out here, but you just don't know where they're going to. So who knows, who knows. Oh. Here. Yeah, somebody told me they got rid of this pool table. Huh, now they did change the, um, let me go over here and get a picture of their sign. Oh, we got a DJ out here. sometimes Oh man, of course earlier today the uh, tide was way super low and of course today we have it very very high. Oh, maybe we're not going to even be able to go down that way. Wow, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Alright, so I didn't check the, t the tide chart here. Let me see what that is all right so yeah I just checked the tide chart and it is 12.17 uh, feet so it's super super high but uh, you can see we're just getting out of uh, bamboo beach area seen the beach so high before but we're gonna get down here by uh, Wagamot Palm and uh, try to check that out See how busy it is down here as well. Oh, there's a little drone there. Well, we do have the, uh, here's the Wagamont Palm. Is it a good one? Mini three pro, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how much further we're gonna be able to get down here with this high tide, lift, as high as it is.
but there's not as many people out here. And that just shows you, low season, how bad it is here. Even out here on the beaches. Now, I'm guessing that Patia Beach is gonna be a lot more people out there than this. Now, this is down at the corner. We're getting down uh, past the dead end area of my street, Soy 16, and they have these private villas in here. And right around the corner here is gonna be Sanctuary of Truth. Check out some of these places along here. I've never seen anybody at any of these places. Well, here's somebody here at this one. The family up here. Like Curious Truth here. Yep. Really, it's going to be a great shot. Isn't that nice? Now that's about, I'm guessing about 400 meters away from where I live. The color on that, isn't that beautiful? I'm not getting in the water. Well, this sidewalk's kind of giving out a little bit in here. All right, so we're gonna head back. Make sure you're giving me that big thumbs up. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Hit the bell right next to it for future notifications of videos. We're gonna keep going that way. Oh, they got their, their fishing poles are out there. They have to get to, you have to walk through water to get to them, I think. <laughs> I guess they're going to know if it starts going off. I don't think I've, I think, I'm not sure. Obviously, she probably just didn't understand me. But, I think she was Russian. And, I don't know. Maybe they can't trust me, I'm not sure. Ha, ha, ha. No, they can trust me. I like this tree. It's amazing how big it is. You have to think that half of its system is in salt water. This kid's got a sandcastle going or something. Well, it's getting windy out here. the oh my god kid hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. 
All right. I think he's got some more. Uh-oh, no, he's putting them out. All right. Alright guys, well, that's about it for now. These guys are out here, I think, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, uh, down at Bamboo Beach Farm. Definitely come down and check them out. And um, probably won't have this high tide that you normally have, because they have seating out here most of the time. But uh, anyway, yeah. But look how full this place is. There's a lot of people here. <laughs>